All right, talking taxes today. We're uh, what down to uh, two and a half days. We bring in time two and a half be. days. Um, I'll just I'm gonna I'm gonna cut to the chase. What's it like in Lansing at this point, Tanya? Well, the good thing is that Republicans and Democrats were all civil towards each other. Uh, the a lot of the hyper uh, language that was there two years ago during the. Uh, almost a actually we did shut down um is no longer there and so that's a good thing to see that uh we are working civilly we are trying to find the answers for michigan's uh, job providers and families why do you think it's different this year than two years ago you know i think uh one of the reasons why it's different is uh, we as legislatures uh realize that we have quite a severe problem in that you know six seven months ago the economy kind of came to a stop you think? and uh we are seeing a result of that in our state revenues in that they're almost down by a, a little over 20%. Um, so if you can imagine as a family, 20% of your revenue is just gone overnight. Uh, that's the severe problem and the challenge that we as legislators have to uh, solve in these next coming days. And we have moved a lot of budgets out. There are a lot of uh, budgets left to move, but we have done, we're almost about three quarters of the, or two quarters of the way there. Okay. And there's a, there's a sticking point with with several. I mean, I was just reading today. You know, library could see funding cuts by forty percent. Uh, the Michigan Promise Scholarship was on the chopping block last week. Don't know if that'll get saved or if it won't because you know there's no money behind it. I mean, how critical, how mission critical, state critical are are things like that? While they're really really nice and really really great to have. I mean, do you look at that first or do you? work your way backwards from mission critical and, and go, okay, here's what we have to have. Well, this is what's so nice about being a legislator is we get to, you know, we're a representative of roughly about 90,000 people. And so those 90,000 people really, we do respond when they get their emails. Uh, uh, I did hear from a lot of Broncos. Uh, I'll bet. <laughs> The Broncos uh, got the word out about the Michigan Merit Scholarship Program or Michigan Promise Scholarship. I grew up when it was the Michigan Merit uh, thing, but uh, the Promise Grant. And, uh, you know, that has made a difference. Uh, we've heard their voices. And if nothing else, we are going to try and we realize students have uh, depended upon that. They have planned their budgets around it. And so right. nobody wants, at least for this year, uh, to to go back on that promise. So we are looking at ways uh to do that, but you know, this is where people need to realize essential services. What are essential services? And the question needs to be asked: uh, Is it libraries? Is it uh, police, fire, ambulance? Is it uh, education? Um, you know, all those are wonderful, great things. And are they critical? Probably some of those are. Um, and and this is where hearing from the local elected officials, hearing from the constituents out there, helps us as we try and uh, shave some of those. You know, I would argue that we had a state police post building uh, that was built that we have the opportunity to get out of it and I voted no against that now we're it looks like we're going to purchase that I would put education and revenue sharing above that building but those are the important questions that we as legislators have to deal with talking with Tanya Schutmaker here on 590 KZO Tanya uh, you talk about the revenue sharing in, in, in the municipalities and the cities I'd heard a 2% cut possibly um you know what do you say to what do you say when when your constituents call you and they're a principal from a school or a superintendent or a city manager and say look my budget is already set uh, you know what am i supposed to do yeah and i understand that in fact i did a bill so that uh, especially with schools cuz i have heard that complaint from schools and it's a legitimate complaint so i have a bill in there to uh, switch our budget year back to july 1st um, that way schools can can budget out because what I've heard from schools is that they were prepared for a 100% decrease in the per pupil allotment, but uh, this 218 is kind of catching them off guard. And so if they know what to expect next year, they can plan a little bit better. All right, so it's a $2.8 billion as far as the deficit goes. Now, what we heard uh, last about a week and a half ago is uh, Dylan and... Um, the, the, the Senate House, Majority Mike the, Bishop by Bishop had a, had an agreement. They had an agreement. They it's have, still they, an agreement. They still they, they're still agreeing. Uh, the Democrats really weren't real crazy about uh, what was agreed to on their end by uh, by uh, by Dylan, but there's still an agreement in place. The numbers are still in place. The question becomes: Will it get done? And will there be a shutdown? And, you know, I heard from both leaders that, yes, the agreement still stands. Uh, they are working towards their, those numbers. 
you know, everyone kind of has the same goal in mind in that we want to make Michigan families more prosperous. And if you make that happen, uh, then people have more money to spend uh, in the local economy. And that's what our all com- common goal is. Uh, we somehow may differ in how to get to that goal, but uh, there is an agreement without any revenue increases. Uh, I've heard that Speaker Dillon, uh, some of his own party feel that there should be revenue increases. I think he is going to probably move some revenue bills tomorrow. But nonetheless, there still is an agreement there without any kind of revenue increases uh, to get to these budget numbers. Okay, I'll just ask you, think there'll be in the final budget, think there'll be some sort of a revenue increase? I'm going to say no, not in the final uh, budget. I do think, though, there may be some, uh, the the House Democrats may move some revenue increases uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, when that will be, I don't know, but I don't think it's part of the final budget. Will it get done before Wednesday at uh, at midnight, or will uh, there be a continuation? I'll put you on the spot. I, I, I will use my crystal ball to say that we will be about 98 to 100%. Maybe uh, we might have one budget that we may need a continuation in place for like a day or two, but I'm going to say by the end of the week it gets done. Michigan business tax, is the surcharge or surtax still involved in this budget? Or did it get taken out? It, uh, you know, I think there's agreement upon all sides that we need to reform this because it's not helping job providers when I've heard from job providers. Some have not had an increase over the SBT. Some have experienced up to 385 percent. I got an email today um, that that uh, was what they were increased in taxes. Wow. And that's not going to do anything to get Michigan families and uh, citizens back to work. And so we need to make sure that we have a healthy environment for Michigan business businesses and low taxes, uh, low regulation, and to make it as easy to do business like in the state of Indiana as it is, um, we need to be mirror ourselves uh, like those states. Okay. Um, is this why you got into politics? Not to talk to me, but I mean, let's face it, there's a lot going on. There is a lot I think you're crazy. On. I'm just, I, you and, and everyone else I talk to, it's like, wow, why do you do what you do? You know, I have a passion for my job. My mom's a social worker. I love helping people, and hopefully I do my small part in making people's lives better. All right. You're running to uh, share that. Go ahead. I'm running for state Senate okay. uh, for the 20th Senate seat. Our current Senator, Tom George, is term limited, and so I announced a couple of months ago, and uh, we'll be popping up in Kalamazoo quite more frequently. Uh, why? Why do you want to run? Um, you know, I have a desire to serve. It's my passion. I think I do a pretty good job. I think I'm accessible. I listen to people. And hopefully if you take a look at my legislative record, it's a great record for getting Michigan families back to work and putting more money in their pockets. All right. So you think it will be done before the completely before the end of the week? The, the budget. I'm going to venture I'm, to say, and all right. granted, it's it's a roll of the dice, but yes. All right. All right. I'll, uh, I'm will i going to hold you to that. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Thank you for Thank coming you. in. Thank you. All right, Tanya Shootmaker there. This is the Jay Morris Show, 590 KCL.